right. So, um, so what do you think's been done in terms of helping prepare you for our aging out that's been helpful? Um, uh, applying for housing, um, know how to look for work and what work programs are out that help you get employed. Um, actually, one of the um, places that they did send me to, I think it was called Workforce One. Uh -huh. We actually go there, you dress in business attire, whatever the case may be. Make sure uh, you got to bring resumes. And you go there, bring your resumes, you hand them out, and they have hiring managers there that sit with you on the spot. And they go over their job description, and then afterwards they explain to you um, how they job work and what's the requirements. And then they go around the room, take your um, your resume, and they go over it, and they usually call you back like soon. But it's a good. Well, I think it's a, it's a good program because it's actually hiring managers there. So you're not. So you not. So you're not sitting there just filling out applications online or filling like going to storage, filling out application and just did not just not hear no response. Right. You know what I mean. So, Sounds like a good program. Yeah, it is actually. Um, what else? Uh, give me um skills, how to uh cook, uh clean, maintain a household. Um. I mean, just basic um living skills. Okay. Um, do you attend your agency workshops? Yes, I do. Once a month. They have um, a workshop where they sit there, like I said, explain to you life skills and how to open up a bank account, um, make sure you know how to fill out an application, what you know how to do if there was an emergency in the house or fire, or the case may be. Um, so, yeah, that's once a month. Once a month. Okay. Um, let's see, um, have you heard of any obstacles that older, older youth, you know, you know, who've aged out, have faced, you know, what have you heard about from them? Um, for, like, I really don't know anybody that, like, really aged out and had trouble, but I'm pretty sure, like, it's a tough process, you know what I mean? Because it's always the fear of you living on your own. That's always a big fear. You know what I mean? Because you don't got that extra support. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, what are some issues you think people might have who are living on their own? Um, not being able to keep up with the bills. Mostly um, not having food in their house. Um, Not having heat, uh, not having an air conditioner. I mean, there's a whole bunch of problems that can go wrong. Uh, uh, utilities not working. Yeah. Households. I mean, there's a number of Happens problems. Happens all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bug infestations. I mean, there's a few. I've had some terrible stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy things. Um, let's see. Um, What else do you think foster parents or staff or agencies could do to help prepare you? Help prepare you? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's not much they could do, but I mean, tell you what you got to do and what to expect. But I think uh, it really falls back on you and you take heed to what they're saying to you. Right. And uh, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Because your time is limited and when you age out, that's it. Like, you're on your own. So it's best you start listening and being open-minded as soon as possible. So when you do age out, you're not in the shelters. Mm -hmm. And you got a good head on your shoulders. Okay. Great. Um, I think that covers it. That's great. Thanks so much.